How does oxidative stress impact type 2 diabetes? Do you or your loved one suffer from type 2 diabetes and you're not satisfied with the answers coming from the medical research community? This video will provide information on how oxidative stress may be causing type 2 diabetes. I'm Peter Stroot, the founder of Glixen, and I started this YouTube channel for people suffering from chronic health conditions like type 2 diabetes and they're looking for answers. Subscribe and check the notification bell to receive more videos from Glixen. Many people suffer from type 2 diabetes which causes an increase in their blood sugar and multiple health conditions. There's an estimated 30 million adult Americans suffering from type 2 diabetes. But what really causes type 2 diabetes? Now contrary to popular belief, Obesity doesn't cause type 2 diabetes. There are many people that are underweight or normal weight that have type 2 diabetes. How can that be? Remember, being overweight or obese is just a risk factor for type 2 diabetes. It's not an underlying cause. I provided a link below to a Mayo Clinic link that actually provides more guidance on this. Remember, being overweight or obese is not a cause of type 2 diabetes. It's just a risk factor. Check the link below from the Mayo Clinic to get more information if you don't believe me. Long-term elevated oxidative stress may actually be the underlying cause of type 2 diabetes. In a previous video, I provided guidance on at least six different types of oxidative stress that may be impacting your health. At Glixen, we believe blood oxidative stress or BLOS is probably the dominant form of oxidative stress impacting your health. Unlike other sources of oxidative stress, BLOS is continuously producing oxidative stress throughout the body. So how does oxidative stress cause type 2 diabetes? Recall that reactive oxygen species or ROS are the principal compounds of oxidative stress. For type 2 diabetes, ROS may be impacting three different ways. ROS reduces hormone production from glands that includes the pancreas. Your pancreas produces insulin which is a hormone. The following figure shows the relationship between your portal vein and the pancreas. The portal vein collects all types of oxidative stress and it runs right next to your pancreas. Ross compounds diffuse from high concentration to low concentration. This means the pancreas could be impacted by Ross transporting through the portal vein. Now, most glands do not have any kind of antioxidant defense that includes the pancreas. So without an antioxidant defense, that means they're vulnerable to oxidative stress. So in summary, that means elevated oxidative stress in the portal vein could be impacting the production of insulin from the pancreas. Or a second way ROS impacts type 2 diabetics is that ROS has been suggested as a cause of insulin resistance. And I provided a link below where you can check that out for yourself. Third, ROS also inhibits glucose transport. So if glucose can't get into your adjoining cells, it's going to remain in your blood vessel, your circulatory system. Together, oxidative stress impacts the delivery of glucose to tissue. When this happens, the result is elevated blood sugar. I provided a link below to a recent blog post that goes into much more detail about the role of oxidative stress in type 2 diabetes. Check that out. Now you know how oxidative stress may be causing type 2 diabetes. What can you do? Review the six types of oxidative stress and determine how your lifestyle might be contributing to type 2 diabetes. After you've reviewed the six types of oxidative stress, you should consider changing some of your lifestyles in order to reduce oxidative stress. Talk to your physician about how you can use your blood sugar test to actually evaluate your lifestyle changes. The idea is that if you make these changes over time, we hope that your blood sugar levels would return to normal. I also provided a link below to an ebook and book of mine that shows you how to develop a strategy for hacking diabetes, which uses a lot of this information and more. So check that out if you want. Let's reduce oxidative stress and perhaps type two diabetes. Let's work together on this. Please subscribe and share this channel with any friends or family members that are suffering from type 2 diabetes. As always, peak life may be only one lifestyle choice away.